As part of our examination of still life photography, today we'll be looking at the work of David Leventhal. Now Leventhal could be kind of considered a conflict photographer, uh, photographing wars and conflicts, but he's a little different than that. A typical conflict photographer goes off to a foreign country where there are battles going on, uh, risks their life trying to get the shot in the middle of battlefields and violent situations. Leventhal has a totally different take. What he does, uh, he takes action figures, uh, toy soldiers basically, and uses them in his work to create scenes. Now these pictures are from the series Hitler Moves East. Now the idea behind this series, it's a document of when the uh, Nazis invaded Russia during World War II. And again, rather than actually being out on the field, he's recreating this in the studio. He takes toy action figures, uh, as in this picture, and then doesn't just photograph the figures, but creates whole scenes for them. You know, here he's moved in dirt and grass and even smoke and used string, maybe fishing line to prop some of these people up in the air. So this is actually basically a bomb going off, you know, with the toy soldiers getting blown about. Now, usually when you do still life photography, you want to use a small aperture and maybe a wider angle lens in order to get a deeper depth of field because depth of field really diminishes uh, up close. Leventhal, on the other hand, uses shallow depth of field in his pictures. And I think he does this to kind of create a feeling of mystery and ominousness in his photographs here. For instance, here in the foreground, you see a tank and a sniper, uh, sniper hiding behind that, that uh, billboard that, uh, to the left there. But in the background, we know the buildings, telephone poles, other, we can't quite see what's going on. So we have the same kind of dread that a soldier would facing the unknown. And the shallow depth of field really does give a eerie feeling you know, to a lot of the work here. And I say this work is conceptual in the sense that it makes you ask questions about photography itself. The idea that some of these pictures are rather realistic. They certainly give some of the feeling of being in conflict, even though they're actually staged models that are being used here. So do we get the same message here? Is it uh, different uh, than having a real photographer out here? He wants us to ask questions about these things. Uh, the scenes really are not totally believable and yet eerily uh, convincing at the same time. Uh, and the way he creates these whole sets too to recreate the scenes, I think is really very interesting. And some questions the toy soldiers, uh, the kids don't ask when they're playing with these little model replicas. For instance, here, here's a dead soldier you know, in the snow. Uh, there's a boot, you know, blown off them in the left part of the picture and you know, bringing up issues that uh, we don't often confront, you know, when we think of these. This is another idea, you know, the whole idea of war as play. The idea that we train children, especially young boys, for roles we expect them to play as adults you know, in uh, conflicts. 